Hi everyone, this is Maria with my most recent art journal. I hope you are all doing very well, that you are very blessed today. We worked in this little journal last time, or on a previous video, and this journal is where I come in and just add different elements to the pages as I feel like doing. It can be paper, paint, whatever I feel like, and I don't have to finish one project in one day or at one sitting. I can just build the pages little by little kind of working intuitively. That is my hope for this journal. So here we have added paint and different things. I did this off camera. I was inspired by walking my dog and added some flowers that I found along the way and some lace and, and some stitched fabric. Here is a little, um, stamp so just recording a little bit of my day that day I started intuitively and it was kind of a darkish day as well uh, kind of rainy and here's a little bit of journaling on camera though we did work on this precious little bird with our verse in Romans 12 12 Part of it said, be patient in suffering, which is hard to do. You have seen this on camera. Here I had covered this page with a flap. And I decided to remove part of it and just added a flower. And it's ripped and some handmade paper, mulberry I believe it is, some fabric stained lace and stitches. I wanted to keep this original piece. I think it's very beautiful. Oh, I forgot I had done this. I love this page. It meant so much to me. I did do some journaling. Um, there was a storm, which where I live, we are in a drought. So we welcome storms. And it was pretty loud in the middle of the night. And I took my dog walking the next day. And I was very inspired to write about what happened. I picked out this beautiful little leaf and I flattened it a little bit and added it to this collage of painted papers that I had made before and some little journaling. And today I have gathered a few different papers that I would like to add for collage. This is something I want to do. I have the stained fabric that I would like to add here somewhere. It's stained with coffee. It would be really cool to stitch it by hand. I stitch in the sewing machine a lot because it takes longer to do by hand. I feel like adding some white here. I feel like adding something here, maybe hanging off of here, some trash. If you all follow my channel, you have maybe seen my trash journal. And I do collect some trashy items. And when I walk with my dog, I do find little things like washers, just different metal pieces. I bring them home and I wash them. <laughs> and um, just a neat addition to your journals. I would like to add something from here maybe. Um, just because I just have that uh, right now, that desire to do so. So that's what I would call intuitive. Our journaling and then who knows what this page will turn into here's a little piece that's neat my idea right now is to um, go underneath the fabric here and try to I'm just <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing it's just a quick little idea I had 
and I want to run this thread over these X's to kind of soften them up a little bit. I think that will soften all that black, that thickness. And this is, this is fun. If you have the time to do hand stitching like this, it has a name. I don't recall what it is. People do it a lot. Uh, it's very rewarding. It's very cute. So I'm thinking I'm going to go past the crosses over here a little bit and then we can let this hang loose with our trinkets. That would be fun. I'm just going to tie a little knot. There, that's very easy. As I am doing this, I would like to share the word of God with you guys because that's what my channel is about, bringing comfort to people. I do have this uh, little paper here with some words of comfort, God's promises, words from the Bible. And Isaiah 41.10, which happens to be one of my favorite verses, if I could just remember it. Um, and memorize it, commit it to memory, it says, fear not for I am with you. Now, that sounds to me like a command. And I tend to be fearful. I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression like 30 plus years ago. And it's a big deal for me. So when the Lord came into my life, um, he touched me with his spirit and all that was removed for a moment for, I don't know, for, I don't know, maybe weeks or a couple months as I was so filled with the spirit trying to, I mean, just learning about the Lord. I was like, wow, this is God. I needed this. And so for a while, I didn't feel that anxiety. I didn't feel that depression, right? I was filled with spirit and just getting into God's word and getting to know him. And it was awesome. But then as the years go by, you know, it's like, okay, the Lord has shown you who he is. You have decided to follow him. And now you have to be faithful and get in the word and grow as a child of God and be transformed little by little glory from glory to glory, right? So I had issues still with anxiety and fear and I was a baby Christian and I didn't know any better and I still don't know, <laughs> don't know any better, but um here it says, fear not for I am with you. How do you get rid of that fear? And um, of course, the more time you spend in prayer and the word, you can feel much better, you know? Um, and so this is looking pretty cool. As you keep reading 41.10, it says, be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. This, these are God's words. He says he's with me. He will strengthen me. So those are his words directly to us, right? It's like he's speaking to us. I love to read the word of God and read verses where he is directly speaking to us because I feel much more connected. When you read the word of God and his promises to you, like from his mouth saying to you, because yes, this was to, to the Israelites. Yes. To his uh, chosen people. Yes. But it's also to us through Christ right now in the new covenant. He says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And I believe that to be the Lord Jesus. He upholds us with the Lord Jesus. He's sitting at his right hand and through him we can find the peace and the strength 
and the courage and the grace through his spirit to do everything we need to do. Have I healed from all my depression and my anxiety? I have to say it, my the depression has healed mostly and I believe it's because of the diet, the way I consume my food. I have done a drastic change in the last few years and it has removed the depression that I had and I do not take antidepressants anymore. Anxiety has minimized, but the worries of the world still get to you. So it has improved my situation, my emotional well-being, my emotional health has improved through the word of God many times, but it hasn't gone away 100%. Diet has helped a lot, but diet has been a result of prayer, of trying to find ways to heal my body, my mind, from whatever was that was causing all these issues. Anyway, I love this. <laughs> this is so cute. I would like for this to be solid. This piece. I have this piece of corrugated cardboard and that is solid it may be a good back supporting back piece for this yeah I like that look at that that looks really cool here just an extra element that is grungy it is unexpected you know it adds interest and I'm going to staple it Oh, how cool is this? Let's keep adding layers and layers. We have a little bit of the layer showing here from this, from this cardboard. And it has definitely added some strength. There, there's a flower. Yeah, that looks good here. I don't know what it is. It's just us. I'm going to sew it with a sewing machine. So as I work on my journals and my channel, and I like to inspire people by the word of God and by arts and crafts, I am bound to repeat some of the same verses because I believe that God speaks to us um, through his word and sometimes he repeats that word to us because we need it this is fun just because just trying to layer some elements that make sense to me that look nice together these are just old scraps I do have A dried flower. <laughs> Maybe there, but I think it needs a brighter background. I am going to try to add, just because I've seen these here, laying here now. These are soft pastels. And I want to see what happens. Add a little bit of... Uh, what do you call it? Matte medium to it. He will seal them. I'm going to go with this just because I feel it's the right thing to do. Going to use matte medium to glue my flower. So I managed to attach some petals to this poor flower that was losing all her petals. And what would be fun to do is add extra petals with a pencil. Kind of like sketchy maybe even paint them in 
So this is that Burnt Umber Liquitex ink. That's pretty good so far. It's giving me just uh, an illusion of some petals there. I have to say I'm not super happy with this piece because I like the raw state of the dry flower and I wanted to keep it as organic as possible. Instead, I ended up adding too much paint, but that's okay. It's something that you learn. And I wanted it to look like the frail, little broken dry flower that it was and now it's painterly and that's a good thing but I lost the original character of it it's overworked but that's okay again we learn as we go I'm going to add a little stays on stays on ink to my stitches that I lost here, my black stitches. I'm just going to rub a little bit of this on it so it picks up the stitches, the texture. I'm going to add a little stabilo to the to the flower a little bit just because they give me a bit of contrast that I'm looking for since we have added some dark to the edges let's see what happens if I activate the stabilo a little bit just gently I don't want to smudge it too much this is very smudge as it is I just want to add more contrast and when you activate the stabilo it gets even darker Maybe some of this color sprinkled through here would be cute. Put a little bit here and I'm going to water it down. Those are cute splatters. I do want to add a little bit of this peachy orange to the flower. Just a little. And that should be it. I think it's a neat piece. It's painterly. It's fun. I can keep playing with it. Um, I think that's just my perfectionist side coming out. I do like the splatters and the colors. It is grungy. I love the, the paper and the fabric stitched together. Just scraps of things. The corrugated board. I do want to add a word here. Ideally we can add something that has to do with the verse that we were talking about today. About <clears throat> not fearing. And so something in regards to that, that would be cute to put here. I found these little words that say, you will never leave me from a book. And I glued them on this piece of cardboard. 
I like the overall look of this. The words here obviously have to do with God's promise that says that we should not fear because he's with us. He will strengthen us and help us with his righteous right hand. So far, so good. These are pretty neat. We'll have to see what we can add here. Something simple. This was supposed to be simple. It turned out into a bigger... Uh, project than I wanted it to be really even though I enjoy painting the the flower but still pretty cute I hope you all have enjoyed this project and played along with me adding layers and layers of interesting elements to your journals from fabrics and and uh, trinkets and paper and all kinds of things that you can find to see what you can come up with and develop your own style May God bless you and keep you. Thank you for watching. Come back and see me next time. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.